Thousands of immigrants in the Rochester, Minnesota area are thankful for a community effort that helps them grow foods from their homelands that they may not be able to get or afford here. Noah Fish has more on the Village Project. Kim Sin came to the U.S. as a child in 1983. A few years ago, when he was working with the elderly, he discovered that many weren't able to afford healthy food or find affordable food from their culture out of season. He was inspired by the Hmong American Farmers Association to try something similar for Cambodians and other immigrants in Southeast Minnesota. You know, I never imagined that it would be so successful. It was a community effort to make the village to get to where we are today. The Village Agricultural Cooperative now has four sites where they grow food, and they're developing two more. They use a combination of rented and donated farmland. I think as long as we have a waiting list and as long as we have people who want to grow their own food, we're going to keep looking for land and keep trying to expand. Uh, we're also trying to find the farmers of tomorrow and educate people on regenerative agriculture. Sin says it feels good getting back to his roots. This is what our culture was, you know, raised to do is cultivating and farming. And when we came to the U.S., we didn't have that opportunity. 16 different languages and countless dialects working together to grow fresh and healthy food. In Rochester, Minnesota, this is No Fish for Ag Week. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.